Uh, Steve in Tennessee, you're on the Run and Fez show. Hey, boys, what's going on today? Not much. What can we do for you? I have a question for Atheist Fez. Hey, if, if Fez, if you seen a man walk on water today in 2013, do you think that would be a miracle or a illusion? And if, if, if it was a miracle, would that make you have faith in God? No, I would think there was some sort of illusion to it. No, I mean, but today. If, there was, if there was ten guys walk and everyone fell through the water... If and a man was actually guy, walking on water, Fez. Yeah, a man actually well, A man was actually water. walking on water. What would that be? I that would be that would be considered a miracle. Okay, now if that was a miracle and and this man that walked on water was named Jesus, would that make you believe in God, or what would that make you believe in, Fez? No, it would make me believe that this was some guy that had some sort of ability to walk on water. I don't think I would believe in God, and this is uh, this is if any of this stuff is true. Even this is just going from the stories in the Bible. Shock, shock, Fez Botley. Yeah. Shock Jock. He's ready to shock you and your beliefs. Fez Watley, Shock Jock. He's a fallen Lutheran and now a proud Gaytheist. Fez Watley, Shock Jock. Gotta be the first ever Gaytheist, Shock Jock. Shock Jock, Fez Watley. Just said that Jesus used to wet the bed. Shock Jock, Fez Watley. He's a Gaytheist. No God, all cock. Shock and jock. Shock jock says if Jesus does come back, it will only be to sleep with your children. He's a shock jock and gaytheist, Fez Watley. Judas was in the right. Shock jock. I couldn't even understand what you said. Judas, he was in the right. Oh, Judas was in the right. Yeah. Because it sounded like Jesus was in the right. The slurring. And I haven't even started drinking yet. Let me just, what do you got over there? This is, um... I would take a big fucking slug off of it. Vodka from Georgia, the country. Well, that's nice. Oh, you don't want to open this? You want to show it off to your friends? Oh, no, I'm cracking that bad boy open. What is this, a fucking pint? It looks like a pint, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Go pack Joe. Fucking nine cartons of cigarettes. You look like you should be standing outside the fucking unemployment office. <laughs> Uh, and fucking in Chester, PA, with this in your inner fucking coat pocket. He should just send it in a brown paper bag. Shock, shock, says Watley says, I would pick this vodka over Jesus. He's a gay theist. Um, Tony in Texas, you're on the Ronnie Fez show. Hey, Ronnie, I got a question for Fezzy. Yes, go ahead. Fez. Hey, Fessy, who do you respect more, David Copperfield or Jesus? I believe in David Copperfield. Shock Jack Fez Watley. He's here to shock your balls. I don't think Jesus ever had a rape island, though. So you actually have more respect for David Copperfield? I don't think that was ever proven. What do you need? You need to shock Jack Fez Watley. He's pro rape. He's here to shock your balls. Women ask for it. Shock, shock. Why they go around with tits if they don't want to be raped? Shock, shock. And Gaytheus, Fez Watley. Uh, Dom, Iowa, you're on the run of Fez show. Yeah, I can give you a Fez, man. You get your softball pitch, you got to be hitting him out of the park. You know Jesus Christ was an X-Men. Fez Watley just got out shock, shocked, and he's speechless. Here it comes. He's ready to make a statement. I didn't read anything in the Bible that said he was the original mutant. <laughs> but you can't deny that he did magic. Shock, shock, Fez Watley. He takes some time. And lets people be shocked before he comes back. To jock. With his tagline. But you can't deny that he did magic. He's lighting up the phones. He's freaking people out. He's shocking them. TV Guide says that Fez Watley makes me so mad, I want to kill my cat. Shock, shock. Ironic. Uh, 
What about you, Hicks? Why don't you shock? Let's just do a day of shock jock them. Uh, I uh, I saw this report out. Oh, that Obama wants to sew up a little girl's vaginas. I mean, come on. No. What is this? A nanny state? How huh? You, how are you gonna have kids then? Huh? Shock jock Michael Moore says he wants pictures of the Newtown slaughter put out online. He's a shock jock. Michael Moore pro snuff. His next documentary is going to be called fucking Snuff. Michael Moore. He's a dirty liberal and overweight. He's a shock jock. He wants to take all your money. The Rolling Stones said they glad the Beatles broke up because they were better than them. They're shock rocks. Marilyn Manson said, I just painted my face white. Shocking. Um, let's go over here to Don. And Della who? Della what? Della where? Shock Jock. Doesn't believe in God. And he killed his cat. Shock Jock. Les, Alabama, you're on the run of Fez show. I want my fuzzy back. I want my fuzzy back. He's just watching you. Shock, shock. Shock, shock. I'm He's... right here and just saying that Jesus did magic. Shock, shock, Fez Watley. If you believe the stories. Shock, shock, Fez Watley. Swallowing air. And dropping bombs. By the way, just to show you the shock jock, Pepper Hicks still wearing his bang bang shirt. Bang bang, shock and jock. He bought that the day of the Newtown Massacre. I was like, pro guns, dude. If those kids had guns, they would have fucking nailed that dude. Ron, San Francisco, you're on the run of Fez show. Fezzy, you are knocking it out of the park today, buddy. I'd love to hear you strong, and you are correct. Keep it up. Give them hell. Thank you. Go ahead, Fez. Give him hell. Well, I'm sure it's people that think I'm going to get hell for not believing. So, but I mean, if you look at what a magician does and you look at the stories about Jesus, it's the exact same thing. Here's a crowd of people and I'm going to do this magic thing for you. It's the exact same thing that David Copperfeld said. I get your point now more than the first time that you said it. Now I get it. So that was all I had on it. I think it's great. I think you shocked a couple bunch of people. Shocked their balls off. And jocked wherever else was left. We want more shock. We want more shock. We want more shock. We want more shock. We want keep shocking us, Fezzy. Well, Lance Armstrong said, wants to compare himself to Bill Clinton, saying that... Bill Clinton had two balls, you asshole. Saying that he could be the next Bill Clinton and rehab... It could take a decade, but he'll, he'll make a huge comeback and people will love him again. And Bill Clinton is the president of the world and he can be back there again. You don't get to say if people will be fans of yours again. You don't get to lay that out once you're in Lance Armstrong's position. And in fact, if you're saying that, it may even knock it back a few years, if ever. Fez Watley went from shock jock to centralist commentator. Fez Watley, he makes good common sense. Level-headed shock jock. Just jock, no shock. And you can't compare yourself to Bill Clinton because Bill Clinton never had to make a comeback. People always liked him. He was always popular. If Bill Clinton's so great, let's see him in a bike race against Lance Armstrong right now. Let's see who wins. I'll tell you this. Give him 200 yards. Fucking Lance will be on him in a heartbeat. Are PEDs allowed? No. Bill might have a chance then. Well, you ripped some stuff out of the headlines, but I'll, I'll, I'll bet on it. I'll put up cash. 
आगे बाद So he's picked the wrong example and and it's uh and you're never going to get rehabbed your your reputation isn't going to get rehabbed that way by talking about how people are going to love me again There's a video on the IB wire Six Flags trainer who punched a tiger in the face Now if now the tiger's coming after him and you would think everyone would be like oh the guy fought back against the tiger and won the guy must be pretty ballsy he's the one who got the tiger to attack him if you watch the video he's splashing a tiger in the face fez watley animal commentator and you actually hear people kind of awe and boo when he starts just wailing on the tiger right in the snout So I can't I can't imagine that this guy's going to be a trainer at Six Flags much longer. Now, here's his problem. It happened in an enclosure. If it happens out in the wild, you're some sort of jungle hero. But not while not while it happens in the tiger pool. The tiger what? In the tiger pool. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Yeah, cats hate water, but for some reason tigers love it. The bigger the cat, I guess the more water that you like. That was all I had. Um uh, Notorious B.I.G.'s family is planning on making a cartoon of uh, Biggie Smalls where he, in the cartoon, he's actually a ghost who comes back and helps his children. Newsreader Fez Watley bringing you the, the ghetto news. What's, what fucking station is this going to run on? YouTube? I I don't know if this is making it to Cartoon Network or not. Where would it go? I, I'll watch it because it's a little biggie. <laughs> oh, that's the only cartoon I'll ever watch. <laughs> Just to see how they pull it off. I want to see the ghost of Biggie Small. Fez Watley reading the news for the ghetto kids. I'll tell you right now, I bet they don't fucking put in the lazy eye. I bet he has two fucking straightforward eyeballs. I hope they do. Hey, kids, even if you got a lazy eye, you can still be a helpful ghost. <laughs> hey, who wants to rap with me this week? I do. Jesus was a musician, and I'm here to say. I always like when people, like, uh, like, do, like, when white people do raps on TV shows, they always say their name. My name is Pepper, and I'm here. Really? Because I've never heard that in an actual song. I guess that's, you know, how Whitey sees it, as being able to start off there fucking kicking rhymes. I don't like being called Whitey. That happened to me when I was a kid. Really? What yeah. Happened? I went, I ran home laughing. <laughs> See, it's a positive thing then. I guess it was. Whitey, cracker, honky. The only thing that you're allowed to do is say, hey, red, to a fucking redhead. That's the only kind of prejudice that you can get away with. I think even calling Jewish people J Jew. I, you have to say Jewish. Yeah, like that's like fucking like a slur. Yeah, you gotta add the ish. Well, sensitive. I mean, I understand the Holocaust. I'm trying to tell people I'm American-ish. <laughs> so if you say American. When Tom. people ask, on, um, like, what am I always like to say? Well, I'm American on my father's side of the family. And mother's side? I'll start the news reader. Go ahead, bro. Well, I think with the Biggie Small thing, they should make it live action and really just try to do the hologram bit. Fez has got these lines, no matter where, how long we talk or whatever, he'll wait us out and deliver that line. I love that part of it. It'll never stop. Yeah. 
Uh, Keith, you're on the Ron and Fez show. You guys were talking about the Biggie cartoon. In yeah, the we cartoon, were. In the cartoon, is he capable of selling drugs and getting shot again? You fucking Come racist. On. Come on. You goddamn he, racist. He is a good you man. You goddamn racist. He's inspired. Son somebody. of a bitch and racist. All you see is race, you scumbag. Uh, Jeff, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Oh, uh, yeah, hey, so, I mean, so B.I.G.'s doing uh, a ghost thing where he's helping out his kids, right? So, yeah. didn't, didn't, doesn't he know that uh, Cosby already did this? You Which goddamn the, racist! They they all you like? son of a uh, bitch and racist! Uh, you, he's, he's not a black ghost! God. He's a ghost who happens to be black! Totally That's all! I hope it doesn't even come up during the show, except for in your racist world. They're totally your, different your people. Your world of race. God. You son of a bitch racist. You sound like a damn cracker. Oh, I thought he meant the Fat Albert cartoon. Fez, don't be a racist. You're a newsreader. You're not a racist. You were born in the South, yeah. But you fucking rose above it. As soon as Fez was born, his parents put a little KKK hat on him oh. and go like this. Let's name him Tidy Boy. We'll call him T-Bone. I know that was his nickname. T -bone. You promise you ever get on the radio, don't you bring shame to the family name. You're straight. Oh, boy. See, I don't think that eye's that lazy. It's it, This picture... Is better than others, but he had one lazy fucking. Eye. I think he was just looking around a lot, like he had a lot on his mind. You'd like to think that, but no, there was a creepy lazy eye there. Jay, you're on the Run of Fez show. Yeah, this is Jay from Jersey. I was saying, looking at uh, Biggie Small's picture, it looked like he had uh, the only black rapper with uh, Down syndrome. You goddamn oh, racist and anti special needs person. They're high functioning. That's right. They, they can, can do any job you can do and better and much, much better. They're better people They're than you. Better than anyone. <laughs> They're the best people ever. They're innocent. They're selling newspapers outside the supermarket. You need a newspaper, right? The, I knew this. I'll just say special needs person who used to sit on a chair uh, and get, um, like, sell newspapers. They, they would be on his lap, and he would be sitting next to the paper box. And, like, if you went over and just, like, took money out of the box, he'd go like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same price. The same price as the box. I'm sorry. I just like their paper. I like the box's paper better. You don't get a nice hello, though, from a box. Doug, Boston, you're on the Run of Fest show. Yeah, Ronnie. Uh, there's no visual element. And I'm always wondering when the dead air hits like that with Fez, what are you doing? Are you, like, coaxing him on? Are you ignoring him? What happens? That would be up to Fez to explain to you. Today he's getting his sea, his sea legs back. He's got the stick. And if this was a plane, we would have crashed a few times. But he does have some prepared anger statements, and he gets into them. Aaron, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, I can't wait to see this cartoon. It sounds spooky. You oh goddamn God. racist son Stop of a it. bitch! You son of a racist! Racism! Oh, that's a racism. slur! That's a slur! Racism! Slur! Oh, God, where do these people get off, huh? I will tell you something about me and Chris Stanley. Chris. Neither one of us has ever said a fucking racist thing in our lives. I have... Uh, my best friend in the world is black girl. My... Second um, best friend is Franklin. See diver and, diversity. Yeah, and my third best friend is Biggie Ghost. <laughs> and maybe I'm the only one who sees him for now, but you'll see when his cartoon comes to YouTube. Oh, I can't wait for it. Be careful, kids! Don't get shot the way I did in the dick. In the dick. In the dick. That's what killed him. He got shot, I can't remember how many times, but they said the one thing that killed him was the fucking bullet that went through his balls and cock. He got fucking shot 82 times in the day. <laughs> I'm saying it was big. <laughs> Go ahead, Fuzzy. We're in your way. If, uh, if he had been wearing a cup, maybe.
Uh, still no Pope. Uh, two more ballots went by. The light, the white smoke just went up, Fizz. Did it really? Yeah. The white smoke went up, and they picked the guy from New York. So, great news. Holy shit. What are they doing trying to pick their newest magician? Shock, shock. Well, they, they said that the longer it goes on, that the better chance an American has. <laughs> that pause could have went on for a fucking hour. He still would have been ready to come back with it. They claim that everybody will hate us if we get it. We'll have too much power. Oh, please. Get off our dicks, world. I don't want to hear another fucking guy come over speaking broken English. Hey, how come all these church are so empty? Yeah. I remember back here in the 50s, the place was a bag. Yeah, well, it ain't the 50s anymore, <laughs> all right? It's fucking 2013. I don't understand. Where's all the money, huh? <laughs> you just have a big basket of money. No Everybody's more. happy. No more. Well, the Catholic Church has got, what, the Philippines, South America. South America is big. Uh, it's, it's Africa's big, too, now. That I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, because Africa. they went down there with food and Bibles. She went down there with fucking anti-AIDS medication. Well, they believe in restraint in the Catholic Church, along with the rhythm section. <laughs> I hope new Pope fucking... To let's people know, come on, just fucking condoms. No, please, not please. Gonna do it. Not going to do it. Come on, just, just one thing. If it's one thing they do. That would be like if the new Leonard, Leonard Skinner did not play Freebird. <laughs> not going to do it. I would think an American Pope would be like extra strict and extra by the book just to prove that he's not a liberal American. Merlin. Fez Watley, modern day Mont Nostradamus. Uh, Mark, you're on the Run Fez show. Ron, I want to name the Fez with the Stick segment the mm -hmm. Fez Lightning Round, because in a matter of three to four minutes, we've gone with swimming tigers in the tiger pool, gay guys in Minnesota, notorious B.I.G. cartoons, and now the new Pope. That's furious. Spin it. Spinning the wheel, making the deal. Fez Watley with the stick. Shit, another guy swallowed by a sinkhole. All new segment. Spinning the wheel, making the deal. All new segment. <laughs> Burning it up. All new. This is in Missouri <laughs> at a golf course. Back, back to the prepared material. Guy just falls through the fairway. It didn't. It looked like the fella fell through the fairway. Did he? Absolutely. It looks like he fell through a hole in some carpet. This thing is so deep, and they said it was like a hole that could hold ten people. Once he was down there, I think like six, sixteen feet deep. Those damn gophers. Maybe it was Buffalo Bill. It puts the lotion on the skin. This is climate change, people. <clears throat> the earth is swallowing us up. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Liberal. Liberal think tank, Fez Watley. So the climate change is causing this, the, the ground to fall from beneath, beneath us? Somehow. Holy shit. Absolutely. Things are either getting dried out or they're over flooded and the ground's just giving way. The non-scientific mind of Fez Watley. So they're lucky they even got this guy out. Taking some time. They had Fez to... Wat they had to go in and tie a rope. Uh, someone had to lower themselves down. Go in with a rope and haul, him, haul his ass back out of the golf course. Reading the facts so you don't have to, Fez Watley. Um...
That was all I had. Um... Uh, Lenny, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Fez, I wonder if these stories that you're reading, I wonder if you realize that almost all of us who listen to the show have already seen the stories on the iBank. Pretty predictable. But now you get to hear them out loud. That's why I'm bringing <laughs> them up, to uh, let people know what's on the iBank today. And maybe not everyone has seen all of them. Uh, Adam, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, guys. I just wanted to uh, see how the uh, mentoring of Popcorn's going. If he's uh, learning from Fez how to master that stick. There are two peas. Uh, Pat, you're on the Run of Fez show. Shark Jock. Fez Wally. Saying it all by not saying a word. Fez Wally with the stick today.